I'm here in Austin, Texas to take a look at a project that's trying to create the world's first fully functioning gun made from a 3D printer. Now this is where it's all been happening. As you can see it doesn't look particularly high tech but let's go in to take a look. This 3D printer here cost $8,000 off of eBay and just down here at the bottom you've got the final two parts of the gun. The parts of the gun are designed using computer design programs and then this is fed into the 3D printer and it builds up the parts by adding layer upon layer of plastic as you can see here. But this is a plastic barrel, there's no metal insert here. There always seems to be a little bit of controversy online that oh well they're using metal inserts. And that's it. We've come to this firing range in a rural backwater just south of Austin and the gun is over here. It's been assembled now and is going to be tested for the first time. The aim is to make this gun as easy to replicate as possible and it means that 3D printing is already on the radar of law enforcement agencies around the world. Criminals are still going to be able to access uh, weapons and guns more easily offline, but some of these risks uh, will emerge and, and that could include, for instance, uh, sectors of society that haven't traditionally been able to get hold of weapons, like younger people. Outstanding. There are states all over the world outside the United States that believe, uh, or that say, we're a gun control state, you can't own a firearm. That's not true anymore. I'm seeing a world where technology says that yeah, you'll pretty much be able to have whatever you want. Aren't you worried about the kinds of people who will be using this technology? I recognize that the tool might be used yeah, to harm other people. It's what it is, it's a gun. But um, again, I don't think that's a reason to not do it or a reason to not put it out there. I think that liberty in the end is a better interest. 3D printers have been hailed as the future of manufacturing. The idea is that one day, instead of going down to the shops, you'll be able to download and print out your own goods at home. But as with all new technologies, as well as the potential benefits, there are dangers too.